You've just received a fixed penalty notice from Hillingdon Council and now you're wondering, do you have to pay or can you appeal? A fixed penalty notice is an official document from the government that accuses you of committing a minor offence and serves you a standard fine. Hillingdon Council uses FPNs to handle minor infractions without clogging up the court system. So yes, it is legally binding. A fixed penalty notice from Hillingdon Council isn't just something you can chuck in the bin, ignoring it could get you in trouble and it can escalate quite quickly because they are enforceable by law. It might even result in a CCJ, that's a county court judgment against you, impacting your credit score for the next six years. What types of offences could get you one of these dreaded FPNs? Driving offences are the usual culprits. These include parking in a permit only spot, using a bus lane for parking, driving over the speed limit, failing to display a disabled state when parking in a designated spot or jumping a red light. The burning question is, do you have to pay? Well, the answer is most likely yes, unless you're planning to challenge it. Small discrepancies in the notices word in odd days are generally not good enough reasons to have the FPN voided. So if you've got one and there's no legitimate dispute that you committed the offence, then pay up and fast. Quick payment could actually lead to a reduced fine in some cases. This is how you pay if you decide not to appeal or if your challenge fails. You can do it online, on the Hillingdon Council website, on the phone with a credit or debit card, or sending a cheque to the council. The amount you'll have to pay can vary. For parking offences, it can be anywhere from 60 quid up to 110 quid. Bus lane parking offences carry a penalty of £60. For all other minor traffic offences, expect a fine of 130 quid. Challenging an FPN is a free process, so it can be worth your time appealing if you think you've got a good case. However, if you're sure that you're in the wrong and you don't think you'll have a shot at winning an appeal, then it's probably best to pay it quickly. If you believe you have a compelling case to appeal, Hillingdon Council has a formal process. Your first step is to challenge it through the council's website or in writing. You'll be informed by mail if your challenge was successful. If not, you can either pay the FPN or escalate the dispute to the formal representative presentation stage, which will require for you to engage a solicitor. Only go down this route if you're confident that you can win in court. If you're a bit unsure whether to appeal or you don't know whether to escalate your FPN, then you may want to speak to a professional. You could use online solicitors. They're called Just Answer and they've got a £5 trial to ask all the questions that you need to about your Hillingdon FPN. I'll leave a link below the video for you and if you use it, you'll be supporting Thrifty Family. So thank you.